I am headed for some trails. It is uh, December 20th. Yeah, 20th. And uh, tomorrow is the winter solstice. So apparently tomorrow morning is the only time of the year where the uh, sun tunnels in western Utah actually have the sun rise in the right spot for the sun to shine all the way through them in the morning. So I'm actually headed out. Wow, that's a bright sun. It's, uh, it's still pretty early in the morning. That sun, I came around that corner, that sun got right in the eye. Drop that a little bit. Okay. Um, I'm actually headed out with a bunch of people from Expedition Utah. They do this trip every year. They call it a uh, freeze your tail off. And I can understand why. When I left the house, it was 10 degrees. On this side of the mountain, it's uh, it's warmer. It's 21 degrees. So, uh, looking forward to some cold camping tonight. But hopefully it's not that bad. I do have our little heater with us and stuff. So, uh, we should be okay. Uh, it's just me. I use the proverbial we in this one. But, uh, no, it's just me. I'm uh, running solo on this trip. The wife is not a big fan of freezing. Kids are just too small to deal with this much cold for this amount of time. And it's it's more they don't understand more than anything. But uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I think this is the 11th year they've done this trip annually. So it's turned into a pretty decent event for them. Uh, the guys from Expedition Utah are great. Uh, met a few of them. Went out last year with them to... Uh, where did, where did we end up? It was somewhere. We went somewhere fun last year when I was in the Tacoma. Uh, this year I'm in the Gladiator. I'm excited to finally put it through the paces. I'm calling this the Shakedown Run for uh, <clears throat> King of the Hammers because I don't have anything else planned between now and then other than uh, race prep. Got to get uh, a lot of studying done, get my gear in line, make sure I have all my safety equipment ready. And uh, that's. That's about the gist of uh, what's coming up after this. All that Christmas, I guess. It's an expedition Utah are good. Been out with them a couple times. Uh, Kurt Williams is one of the founders of that uh, that group. I think he's supposed to be there for this trip, so that'll be fun. Uh, I haven't seen Kurt in a lot of years. I've talked to him a few times, but I haven't actually seen him in purpose in person uh, since Expo East. I I forget what the real name. Is off the top of my head. I'm having a, a not enough coffee day. And uh, yeah, it'd be nice to talk to Kurt again. He's good to be. But uh, that's about it. I'll grab some breakfast on the way to the meetup point. Uh, we'll check back in when we get to the meetup point. Because this, this is all just highway. Who's not familiar with Slinky? We're not going to do a lot of turns, but the Slinky procedure is basically keep somebody in your rearview mirror and somebody in front of you. If we make a turn, make sure that before you proceed on, the vehicle behind you at least sees you make that turn, okay? So that we can stay relatively close together. Uh, the railroad grade does lend itself to higher speeds. We'll try to keep it uh, reasonable. Uh, the slowest person in the group should be the one setting the pace, and we'll try to get them closer to the leader so that they can slow me down too. So Jay, that's you. <laughs> and we'll have you hang out. Why only goes in reverse? Yeah. <laughs> that an old man joke. Um, so that's Slinky. We'll dig a really long fire pit. Just figure out which way the wind's blowing so the smoke's not blowing to one side or the other. It's blowing down the fire if we can. Um, but let's dig a f long fire pit and then uh, everybody's on their own for food tonight. Who brought lights to decorate their truck? Awesome. I bought three prizes, and they're all pretty good prizes, so hopefully we'll have some good decorations. Uh, but we do have three prizes, so, okay, any questions? You guys are an easy crowd. Trucks are warm, let's get going. Yeah, we got 20 vehicles, so, Dan, can I have you hop in the rear with your ham uh, so we can talk, because you got a good mobile. Uh, Dave, can you hop somewhere in the middle, because I know you've got a good mobile. Thank you. For those who don't know me, I'm the group medic. I'll be traveling second to the back. So if you need me, I'm the witch doctor on the radio. And I'll come patch your holes. Oh, I forgot. Just get back on the freeway, go to the
freaking awesome. Check out all of these trucks. Headed out. We have 20 trucks. And uh all right, I'm making the left. Gonna come down here and make a right onto the freeway. And you can hear them. Our radio seems to be working good. Haven't had a chance to really test that thing yet, so that's uh good news. We're still filing out of the parking lot here. Slowing down to the guy behind me, make sure he sees that turn. And he's made the turn. Alright, the tail is less than the gas station. Copy that, thank you. Good copy, thank you, sir. Sounds like everybody's on the road. Sounds like everybody's on the road. Got 20 trucks. I'm sitting in eighth, I think, which is uh, not a bad, not a bad place to be. I'm sandwiched between a Land Cruiser and an FJ Cruiser, and that was uh, our inReach sending its message. So. Uh, well, we have a local uh, Brigham City Corinne expert in the midst. So around the campfire, if you have any questions about Brigham City, be sure to hit up Mike Bradshaw. Hopefully, he'll uh, impart of his knowledge since he lives here locally. Somebody keeps keying up there, but I can't hear them. I'm not sure who that is. But uh, so we got about 20 miles of pavement ahead of us before we get off. And one last check if uh, everybody could look at their gas gauge and make sure they are full. Let me know. We're going to be passing our last chance for gas up here in a little ways. And uh, so if anybody did not fill up, uh, now would be a good time to tell me before we buzz past the gas station. And there's your last chance for gas. Mine says E. That means enough, right? Everybody's um, Yeah, enough to get you to the gas station, I suppose. And there's more jokes. You're really missing out if you don't have a radio. No, I'm just goofing. It's good. I was going to say, I've got a quarter tank. I should be good. Space shuttle rocket. 
pockets and testament is right here. That is a cool looking facility back there. And I'm trying to film and turn at the same time. Luckily we're not going super fast. But uh, I made the turn. And those are some pretty mountains ahead of us. I'm excited to get up in here. Golden Spike Park, eight miles. Right here is where we hit the end of the pavement. Let's kill the radio so I don't get in trouble with the YouTubes. And uh, apparently the spiral jetty is that way. We're going to have to look that up, find out some more information about it. Apparently it was made by the husband of the lady that did the sun tunnels. The sun tunnels is apparently an art exhibit by Nancy Holt. Uh, I'm going to try to find somebody to tell us more about it it's at some point during this trip. But... see them they're off on the side there so that give me an idea but uh okay let's try not to hit any sheep then. Yeah, we slowed down enough the dust cleared up point from what I can see without slowing down is a couple of foundations buried under the snow and a placard so this being the, the railroad grade those trains can only make it about 25 ish miles before they had to take on water so there's gonna be I guess town's a generous word there's gonna be little stops about every 25 miles along this where there used to be uh, facilities to uh, put water back in trains. And uh, somebody left a Coke can out right there. Hopefully somebody else sees it and grabs it. If uh, somebody behind uh, Dan there somewhere in the middle sees that red Coke can sitting on the side of the trail, would you grab it? I didn't see it through the dust till it was too late. Just went past the uh, Red Gladiator, James, so coming up past mid-pack. 
Alpha, Budweiser can has been picked up. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I must have been looking out the window. I didn't even see it. A month ago when I did the pre-run, this wasn't this bad through this section. It was bad, but it wasn't this bad. Uh, if I remember right, however, once we get up into Kelton, uh, the roads are in a lot better shape outside of Kelton. So we probably only have another couple miles of this before we get on a little bit smoother road um, and get out of that ruddy, uh, chewed up mess. You planning to stop at Kelton, Dave? Affirmative. That was the, the plan stop to get out and stretch legs and uh, regroup. Cool. I need to let some air out of my tires. Eight or nine minutes since the last one. Things have uh, drastically improved. That's the idea. We might hit a little bit of pavement today, depending on timing and getting to where we want to go. But for the most part, we'll be 90% dirt the rest of today and tomorrow, and then tomorrow until we're done. Well, that means so we are time to air down. Affirmative. Yeah, there were some folks in the group that were going to air down. I guess I could put it in four-wheel drive too, since I'm just throwing stuff everywhere for no reason. Gotta air down and then go back and pick up my kidney. <laughs> there was one guy running like 60 psi. Depends how Ridiculous. much your kidney's worth, I guess. All right, let's uh, hey, take some air out of the tires. Here. Oh, stiff. I'm a little stiff. <sighs> I saw you go squirrely in that mud. I'm still in two-wheel drive. Yeah, and I thought, well, he's doing that. Maybe I ought to get out of two-wheel drive. <laughs> oh, and, then, and then there was frozen no shut. Huh? All right, we got the doors to the alley cab unfrozen. And we are now in the ghost town of Kelton. Uh, way off in the distance, I see a ranch that still looks occupied. But it looks like this was over 734.1 miles from San Francisco. And uh, there's this. There's a cemetery left over here, but uh, let's take a look at all these rigs we got. You want to borrow mine? <laughs> I got two tires left. Two tires left? Let me go grab it. Yeah, this will save you a lot of time. You know how to use one of these? What? You know how to use one of these? I've never used one. Pull it apart. I'll show you how real quick. Okay. So this pulls your valve stem out. So you thread this part on first on your valve stem. Push that through, that threads over the valve stem, thread the valve stem out, pull it out, and then this piece slides to let air out. And when it's closed, you can read how much pressure you got. we got going on here. The other gladiator in the group. I had to reset my SD card after we left the gas station because it just kept giving me errors. God, I love this thing.
Hi. <laughs> Hello. Awesome looking rigs, can't wait to get further on the road. So I figured out how to get the taser to completely disable traction control. So uh, having a little bit of fun. Yeah, we're sliding sideways. Yeah, love it. We are in a whole bunch of real flat, nice wide snowpack two lane. So getting a uh, getting some fun out and letting that ass in slide a bit probably chewing through gas faster than I should but well I'm having fun but yeah highly recommend that taser because before I disabled the traction control completely this thing wouldn't let the butt slide at all with uh, traction control disabled drift whole corners if I want to love it love it love it taser 100% necessary upgrade I digress check back in when we stop for lunch so we are stopped for a brief moment to let everybody catch up and use the restroom real quick and uh, wow this is a great view from out here let me give you a look at this really bright I should have my sunglasses on instead of squinting here stopped for lunch and apparently this is called element 11 which out here in the middle of absolutely nowhere we have some shenanigans which I'm told is like the Utah version of Burning Man too much for me He's so bossy. So bossy. Well, that was fun. We just had our first little incident of 
trail damage. And we're rolling. Land cruiser up ahead of me. Copy that, thank you. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video if I splice this together correctly. We, uh, I did a group shot rolling out of lunch and I noticed he was uh, dragging something. Turns out it's just a big plastic skid plate under there, but uh, managed to bust a knuckle open so he's bleeding decently. Uh, trying to get that uh, skid plate off of there, but it's uh, it's fixed now. You always got to watch for that kind of stuff. One of the reasons I like to let everybody drive by when you're in a big group is you never know what you might accidentally see and uh, prevent. That thing could have came loose and hit a drive shaft, took out a tire, who knows. But uh, we got it off and everything's copacetic again. So uh, on to the next little fun spot. Okay, we have actually crossed over the highway. We spent uh, <clears throat> about a mile on pavement, and we are now entering the bottom of, or the south side, I guess is the better term, of the Bovine Mountains in an area called Devil's Playground. And uh, apparently we're gonna be here to do a little bit of fun. Sure, it's nice of you guys to pack all this down for us, make it nice and slick. And that's one of the fun parts about being at the back of the trail now. Uh, the road is actually quite... Sounds like driver error to me. With, uh, all these people here. Kind of oh, there's no error. It's, no, it's fun. It's great. Uh, and it's... <laughs> I don't know if he's being serious about the slick road or not, but I've been having an absolute blast. Kill the trash control on this thing. Yeah, we haven't made easy. first tracks yet today. Everything that we've been on so far has been uh, driven before us, and there's enough ranching activity out here that... Uh, that gets some traffic. So the other gate that I remember them putting in, they have again replaced with a cattle guard. So crossing the cattle guard, and there are quite a bit of cattle out here. So uh, I've been sliding around like crazy, still in two-wheel drive, mostly because I'm just having a lot of fun letting this thing slide around. Now that the tasers killed that cruise control or uh, killed that traction control for me, really enjoying it. Uh, I miss having a longer wheelbase. The two-door JK, you couldn't really. Couldn't really fishtail it real effectively. Well, short wheelbase didn't like to do it as uh, One thing I'd like to note, we stopped for lunch after some pretty heavy uh, bouncing, some good speed over some fairly rough terrain, real dusty. The back of the truck's covered a nice thin layer of uh, looks like almost silt. But those uh, Skyjacker M95s are holding up great. I have not had any shock fade yet, and uh, they're not even hot got out at lunch, grabbed a hold of one of the shocks, and it wasn't even, uh, I'd call it warmer than the ambient air temperature, which is currently 34 degrees, but it was still cool to the touch. So uh, Skyjacker shocks, especially the M95s, seem to be a pretty decent shock so far. Uh, I'm going to continue to test them until I blow them up, but so far pretty happy.